when Labour are in charge of things, uh, they run them very badly. And they but end you, you, up with no hang money. Hang on a second, hang on a second. You know that the reasons for that bankruptcy are not just to do mm. with Labour's management of that council. And are you, well, they, I think they it stretch largely, back. There are Tory they councils that have also been bankrupted. When the Tories were in charge too. Well, it largely yes. relates to uh, 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 legal fees, consultancy fees. It's been a problem. It's been a Labour-run council, I think, for about 10 years. And it illustrates a wider point. Labour runs some quite big authorities in this country. Mm like, for example, London, like, for example, a whole country, Wales, like, for example, Birmingham, and they've been shown time and time again, this is Labour's real Achilles Who heel. Runs when they run council. something, Quite. they run it back. Who runs uh, Northamptonshire County Council? Wokingham. Who runs Wokingham These Council? Are, but, the, but Birmingham is Europe's largest I know. council. London it's is not just a Labour the thing. country's yeah. largest local authority. Wales is a whole country. These are time and time again. When Labour runs something, they've been shown to run it badly. And Birmingham illustrates that perfectly. But there are plenty of uh, Labour councils that are run perfectly well. Obviously, Birmingham, because it's so big, is headline news. But you can't sit there and pretend that there have been, haven't been Conservative councils that have also had exactly the same problems and have run out of money and have had to declare themselves bankrupt. But, but, but these, these, I'm talking here, uh, of course there are other councils as well and I've been around in politics a long time I remember my own council Hammersmith the Fulham the swap scandal in the 1980s 1990s been a whole series of local authorities but this is a council Birmingham that has had problems for a long time Keir Starmer put in his own chosen person as Birmingham council leader earlier this year yet still this is a council which is effectively declaring bankruptcy and this plays into a wider point going back to the question about the letter is that Labour have got a long track record of running things badly, running out of other people's money, which was raised the Prime Minister today at uh, Prime Minister's Questions by Nicola Richards. So you must be so Labour. embarrassed that de public debt in this country under a Conservative government is the highest it's ever been. Well, debt is coming back under control, and a lot of that it's rose a, it's during 2. the pandemic. It's trillion. When you came into power, it was 800 billion. Well, it's coming back under control, and actually, when you look at the deficit we inherited in 2010, but the point here is that Labour, and this is really Labour's Achilles heel, Leon, going into next year's election, why people at the moment are not flocking to Keir Starmer is they've got deep suspicions about what a future Labour government would mean so we for running something like the more, government. They see can, how Labour runs London, they see okay. how Labour so runs we, Birmingham, Wales. So we can Wales, expect to see more of you brandishing Liam Byrne's letter. Well, look, it's been shown, if you don't mind me saying, that actually a lot of people are well aware of that letter and most importantly okay. is what it means the wider significance that Labour run things badly when they're in charge of authority Charlotte I don't think the Conservative Party run things particularly effectively. I mean, if we look, for example, at legal aid and the problems within the justice system, the criminal justice system, the family justice system, it's on its knees. Courts have closed. There's a significant backlog. Rape victims are waiting four, even five years for their case to get to trial. Rape has become decriminalised uh, with only uh, less than 2,000 convictions, despite one in four women being raped or sexually assaulted. What on earth is the Conservative Party doing about that? The conviction rates have gone down under your leadership. Violence against women and girls is up. I think it's an appalling indictment of the party. Dan? Uh, well, again, to ask the question, I mean, is it good politics, is it bad politics? I mean, it's, it's basically the only politics Greg's got now. I mean, I remember turning up at the, two, uh, the 2015 Tory manifesto launch and the, and, and the letter was literally, like plastered on the wall it was part of the it was part of the backdrop to the launch the reality is i mean you know greg's again done you know an eloquent attack on on labor in birmingham and elsewhere but the problem is it, it, it kind of feeds into what we were talking about before there was a period and we all remember it there was a period when the conservatives came into power but they had they had a, they had a good run basically saying well i know things aren't working but it's kind of labor's fault and we inherited this mess and we're clearing it up and you can do that for a while as a political party. And you can get you can get some good mileage out of it and respect to Greg and his party, they have done. But then you cross over. And that's what's happened now. And you're now in a point where people say, Do you know what? You've been in power thirteen years mm. and you're blaming this person, you're blaming that person, you're blaming the other person. We don't care. We elected you. You're the guys in charge. You know, and I, I get why you, I get why you're doing it, Greg. I understand it. It's like this Labour attack line, Labour bankrupt in Birmingham. All people are seeing is councils are going bankrupt. Mm. So along with 
schools are collapsing mm. and the trains aren't running and <clears throat> they're not stopping the boats, councils are going bankrupt and it's all happening on your happening on your watch. And the problem the Tories have got now, especially actually with Rishi Sunak, who is like his pitch is I'm the world's greatest project manager. I'm the guy who uh, I'm not spin, I'm not, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just get things done. People are no longer going to accept, after 13 years in power, rightly or wrongly, excuses for why things mm. aren't happening. It, they, a, they just, they, they want things to go right. Mm. They're not interested in excuses for why things are going wrong. I mean, I think it's a, I mean, my view is it's a pathetic excuse. I mean, 13 years... Well, it might be, a legi- it might be an entirely legitimate... 13 years, I mean, I mean, I mean fairness, it, might be, it, might be an, right. it might be an entirely legitimate excuse. The 13 point is, years. There comes a point but, but, politically I mean, where if, it, does, sorry, it doesn't if, matter if, anymore. Yeah, Charlotte, you it, don't remember the 1980s because yeah, you're too young. The winter of discontent was quoted by the Tories. Bear in mind, that was 78, 78. Mm. But that was actually, quoted by Greg's predecessors, like Norman Tebbit, would come out with that back in 1988, 1989, yeah. 1990. So th- this is not a new thing. But if I'm mighty, what we're what's happening today. Actually, Labour have been in charge of Birmingham for 10 years. Labour have been in charge of London for the last seven years. Labour have been in charge of Wales for the last 25 years. So, so you've been is, in charge of the country for 13 yeah. years. Okay, but what I'm talking about is... And people are saying... The point, well, it, but, but, the point but, 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 here Greg, is where Greg, Labour are in charge of something. Yeah, but Greg, the point is... And people are saying, look, if you're basically saying now, we've been in charge in 13 years but we can't deal with these issues because Labour's messing no, up. No, I'm not saying... thinking, well, what's yeah. the, but what that is the point? What's the Dan, point? that is why we, why we vote for that. When Labour are in charge, they, they don't run things well. I'm making a very okay. simple straight And you know what point. else this day is? It's, it's a year since Liz mm. Lettuce Truss, who, as a result of her cavalier policies, have put hundreds, if not thousands, of pounds on people's mortgage bills. I mean, I'm sorry, we are now at the point where it used to be the case, perhaps once upon a time when people might look at the Conservative Party and think, okay, you know, I don't like everything they do, but you can probably trust them with money. I genuinely don't think that the Conservatives, after the debacle of the last year and how people are feeling and what they are having to do to make ends meet, that people can credibly look at the Conservative Party and say that anymore. So I'm sorry, you know, but I think Dan's completely right. They've got nothing left that they've got to hark back to 13 years that ago. Is a, that, I, mean, no, I, well, I disagree. Real problem I disagree. Point, that is also out of date. I mean, what we have seen, particularly with the economic data being Are you saying revised, that people's mortgages haven't gone with up? People, the economic data being revised is actually the UK is the best performing G7 country in Europe. You're so out of touch, Greg. No, but that is, no, that's last week's economic data. You are so out of touch. You're a year out of date. I'm talking last week's economic revised data. And I'm talking about the doors I knocked on last week. Britain is actually the best recovering major economy in Europe. Greg, you are so out of it. You try telling that to somebody who rings into this show day after day saying, well, okay, we may be the fastest growing economy. That's the macro side. I'm giving you the micro yeah. side. Yeah. My experience, Absolutely. my mortgage has got... I mean, I'll, I'll give you my experience. Yeah, my mortgage has gone up a £1,000 a month. Hmm. Now, I, I'm lucky in that I can afford to do that. But if I was on an average salary, I would not be able yeah. to... No, I'm sorry, and I think I'm sorry. This whole exchange, I'm sorry, Greg. You are so You're out of a year touch. Behind, you are Labour. so out of touch. No, you You're are. You are a out, year ago. You are on a different I'm planet. Talking about a week the experience ago. of people in this country does not bear up to what you're saying. You're some, so some sort of revision in in past tense. It's a very important of the, set of the economy. Well, you tell it to my constituents who contact me, who are looking at leaving their houses because they aren't able to afford their mortgage, because they are now going to food banks, because they can't afford to put food on the table for their children. I'm sorry. The Conservative Party from top to bottom has lost touch with people and reality. 